What's up guys, welcome back to the channel for another GeForce and Now News Thursday. If you're new here, I do this every single week, so if you haven't already, subscribe, give the video a like, ring the bell, and leave me your comment down below. There's definitely a lot to go over this week, including our July roadmap, but it's definitely about a lot more than just the games this week, so let's go ahead and get into it. Starting with the Steam Summer Sale, which is still going on for quite a few days, and with over 1,300 games on GeForce Now, there are definitely some sales over here, including a couple of games this week that are coming to GeForce Now that are also included in the sale. So I highly recommend going and checking this out, comparing up against the GeForce Now library, and see if there's something that you need to grab. Next up guys, GeForce Now members have another reward on the way. Being able to save 20% off on SteelSeries gaming controllers over on the SteelSeries.com website. Make sure you're opted in to receive rewards on your NVIDIA GeForce Now account and keep an eye on your email. Samsung's releasing their hub for gaming and this is really cool i've been using samsung tvs for a lot of years i've been keeping an eye on this the samsung gaming hub looks awesome it's bringing all the apps together like xbox cloud gaming geforce now of course stadia and others you also have your local consoles hooked up and i believe you'll be able to name those and show those as well I really like how this is going to bring all your gaming together on the TV. I'm due for an upgrade soon, so hopefully within the next few months, I'll actually get my hands on one of these new Samsung TVs and test out the gaming hub. But it's smart of GeForce now to bring their app to Samsung and to other TVs as many cloud gaming companies are starting to do. Now we've also got an app update getting ready to roll out with 2.0.42 and this will improve streaming performance with new optimizations that adjust streaming resolutions to best fit network conditions. So a little bit of back end work there and making the experience a little better. Now there's also a great new update rolling out for the Shield TV from 2015 on up. Some features are to the 2019 uh, version only. We'll take a look at that here in just a minute. But a couple of the highlights are nighttime viewing and automatic game mode to help reduce your latency. So I'll go ahead in here and show you just I am running on the 9.1 update. I've been able to check this out for a couple of days and it seems to be working really well. Now I can't show you here on screen cap the uh, auto game mode or anything working, but maybe I'll be able to make a dedicated video later but you can see right here the new night listening mode which of course if you enable that you'll lose surround sound but you'll have all the volumes stabilized so that really loud noises and movies uh, will be brought down to the same level and then you can see right here we have our automatic game mode which like I said is grayed out because I'm connected to my capture card but this works well on my TV where it automatically switches to game mode when you launch GeForce Now or any other gaming on the Shield TV, which is awesome. And besides those, there's a lot of other enhancements as you can see here, including AI upscaling for HDR10 content, which is cool, and a lot of other things here. Plus there's a ton of bug fixes and other things, so I highly recommend you go read all the notes for this new update that's coming out. But the 9.1 update is great for the Shield TV. All right, and the first of our six games this week is a day and date release for Steam, June 30th, 2022, Champions of the Four Kingdoms. Set in a vibrant fantasy world, Eloth offers a fast-paced action with a deep narrative, bringing a RPG dynamics to a new level with skill-based gameplay inspired by great classics and modern masterpieces. And next up, we have another new release for Steam in the Epic Game Store for June 28th, 2022, with the Sky 6 Complete. Join Zed on his quest to destroy the God of Destruction in the newest installment of the SRPG series Disgaea. Join the Zany cast on a heck of an adventure and use specialized abilities like Super Reincarnation to battle your way to victory. Disgaea 6 Complete includes all previously released DLCs. And next up we have a game that's also on Steam and the Epic Game Store released not too long ago, June 2nd, 2022. And this is actually from Devolver Digital, a publisher I really like. And this is Card Shark, which is an adventure game full of cunning intrigue and delectable deceit. And they're a world where you'll need to play your opponents better than you play your cards. And our fourth game for this week is over on Steam, originally released back in November of 2018, and that's Kartcraft. Master the skill of racing carts accelerating to 60 miles per hour in just 3.2 seconds with absolutely no suspension while fighting off 20 other drivers. Learn what it takes to corner at over 2.5 Gs while balancing on only three wheels as your engine screams at 21,000 RPMs. Not a game I'm familiar with, but by the trailer it looks pretty interesting. Let me know if you guys have tried out Kartcraft. 
And our fifth game for the week is another game from Devolver Digital Publisher, and this is on sale as well in Steam right now, and that's Hotline Miami. This came back came out way back October 2012. Hotline Miami is a high-octane action game overflowing with raw brutality, hard-boiled gunplay, and skull-crushing close combat. And our sixth and final game for this week is NASCAR 21 Ignition over on Steam, originally released last year, 2021 in October. NASCAR 21 Ignition redefines the official video game of the world's most popular stock car racing series. With incredible graphics and immersive gameplay, NASCAR 21 Ignition brings a whole new level of authenticity and atmosphere to the NASCAR Cup series. All right, guys, that's your six games for this week over on GeForce Now, but we also want to announce that July roadmap. So I'm going to go ahead and just list these out here for you quickly. And of course, we'll go over these in more depth every single week here on the channel for GeForce Now News Thursday. But we've got 13 games to announce here. So we've got uh, Match Point Tennis Championships. This is a new release on Steam for July 7th. Sword and Fairy N2, a new release on Steam for July 8th. Loop Mancer, a new release on Steam for July 13th. Stones Keeper, King Aurelius, which is a new release on Steam for July 14th. Endling Extinction is Forever, a new release for Steam and the Epic Game Store coming on July 19th. Grimstar, Welcome to the Savage Planet, a new release coming on Steam for July 19th as well. Sweet Transit, another new release for Steam July 28th. Panzer Arena, a new release on Steam July 20th. Hell Pie, another new release for July 21st over on Steam. Turbo Slaws is a new release on Steam July 27th. Arma Reforger from Steam, Dungeon Defenders Going Rogue from Steam, and R Factor 2 from Steam. So you can see 10 out of those 13 games are all new releases planned, mostly for Steam. We've got one there for Epic and Steam as well. All right, guys, that's going to bring us to the end of our GeForce Now News Thursday for this week. That's your 13 game roadmap for July. The six games you got coming for this week. We went over the new exciting Samsung gaming hub coming to their new TVs. Shield TV is getting a nice little upgrade with 9.1 with the auto uh, game mode for your TV and nighttime listening. We've got a nice little performance update to the app. You've got those discounts on Steel Series controllers. And of course, we still have the Steam sale going on uh, for a couple more days as time I'm making this video that you can go check out and grab some games as well a lot we had to go over this week guys i really appreciate you coming and hanging out for the video as always i really appreciate it. if you haven't already subscribed thumbs up ring the bell leave me your comments down below and i'll see you in the next one